Traitor, there was an old widow in Shayoxing who was spinning at night. And a young girl suddenly shoved the door in, and said, Granny's not tired? The old woman, teen or nineteen years old, very handsome, and dressed in a gorgeous coat. Where are you from? What are you doing here? The girl said, I feel like I'm alone, so I'm here with you. The old woman suspected she was a lady running out of eunuch furniture, and asked again and again. The girl said, don't be afraid, I'm alone like you. I like your chastity, so I come to you. Wouldn't it be nice to keep us both from panicking? The old woman doubted she was a fox, hesitant to say yes. The girl went to bed and spun her up, saying, Grandma, don't worry, I'm familiar with this way of life, and I'm not going to eat for free. The old lady thought she was gentle, handsome, lovely, so she was relieved. Late at night, the teenager tells the old woman, I still have my bedding. Pillow outside the door, please bring it in for me when you go out to urinate. The old woman went out and got a big baggage back. The girl untied herself, laid on the bed, knew nothing about satin, but felt scented and slippery. The old woman also laid out her own cloth quilt and slept with the young girl. The house was full of aromas before the girl had undressed. When I fell asleep, I thought, it's a pity I'm not a man to meet such a beautiful woman. The girl laughed at the pillow and said, Grandma is in her seventies, and still wants to know what's right. Old woman said, nothing. The girl said, if not, why do you want to be a man? The old lady thinks she's a fox. She's scared. The girl laughed again, and said, if you want to be a man, why are you afraid of me? The old woman shivered all over herself, shaking her bed. The girl said, oh, how dare you be a man? To tell you the truth, I'm a fairy, and I'm not doing you any harm. But there is one thing, as long as you talk carefully, you don't have to worry about food and clothing. My wife got up in the morning and fell under the bed. The teenager stretched her arms, which were as slippery as grease and exuded a hot, humid aroma. Touch her muscles, feel the whole body brisk and the old woman's wild imagination. The girl jokes, she says, my wife, she's not shivering. Where's her heart? If I call you a man, I'll die for love. If I were a man, how could I not die tonight? They've been together ever since. They work together every day. Look at the linen that the girl spun, smooth and shiny, and the fabric, as vivid as brocade, costs twice as much as usual. When the old lady left, she locked the door behind. There's an old woman here, she's in another room, so nobody knows if the girl's been in six months. Then the old lady leaked it to the good guys. The sisters in the neighborhood asked her to meet the girl. The young woman scolded her for saying, you're not careful. I can't live here long. The old woman is deeply remorseful for her gaffe, and blames herself. But more and more days, even force fed. The old woman cried, and defended herself to the young girl. The girl said, if it's a date, it's nothing to see. I'm afraid a thin man would be rude to me. The old woman kept pleading, and the young woman said, yes. A few days later, an old lady, a big girl and a little daughter-in-law, lined up on the avenue burning incense. Girls hate people in mess, no matter who they are, they don't answer, they just sit still and worship. The teenager in her hometown was struck by her beauty. The old woman always said no. A teenager named Faye, a famous local scholar, poured out all his wealth to buy the old woman, who promised to introduce him. The teenage girl knew. She scolded the old woman and said, You want to sell me? The old woman lay on the floor and admitted her mistake. The girl says, You're greeting him for bribes. I'm touched by his obsession, visible, but we're not separated anymore. The old woman kowtows again. The girl is scheduled to meet tomorrow. When Mr. Fisher found out, he was delighted to go with the scented candles and swore a deep salute when he entered the door. The girl spoke to him inside the curtain and said, you'd rather see me than spend all your money. What's there to tell me? I dare not ask for anything else. Only because the ancient beauty Wen Chang and Shi Zuan had only heard about it, 
but never seen it, Fai Xing said. If you don't want me to be stupid and vulgar, I'll be satisfied. If I'm doomed, that's not what I'd like to hear. And then, across the curtain, there was a girly look, dark green eyebrows, red lips. It's all coming out, like there's no curtain. I'm so obsessed, I can't see myself going down. When he got up, the curtain suddenly became thick and heavy, and nothing could be seen. He also resented that he had not seen the lower part of his body just now. As soon as this thought appeared, he immediately saw a pair of small feet in embroidered shoes under the curtains, and they were not yet thin enough. Fairson and goodbye, the curtain says, forget it. Go home, I'm tired. The old lady invited Fei Yi Sheng to another room for tea. On the wall, Mr. Fei Xing wrote Southside, branches of bamboo shoots in front of the hidden curtains. And even more pitiful on the lucina petals, fiber, and the podium. The flowers should be soft and soft in the grip. Hopefully, they will be butterflies, hemlines, and smells of perfume and sweetness. I left after the question. The teenager met her words and said to the old woman, Unhappily, I've said that I've ended my marriage. Is that proof that I'm good? The old woman kneels again. It's not all your fault. I stumbled into the net and showed my beauty to people, so I was tarnished with profanity. It's all my fault. It's none of your business, she says. If we don't move out earlier, we'll never get out of this disaster, because we're in a deeper and deeper relationship. So he packed up and went out. The old woman caught up with her, and the girl was gone in the blink of an eye. All right, this story has come to an end. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.